Hey guys, Nate here from playyourcourt.com. Today we're talking about a mistake you might be making on your service toss. Okay guys, today we're talking about a mistake you might be making on your serve that's giving you issues. This particular video is for a player court rating of 80 and below. If you're not in the membership, definitely check it out. Hit the link below, lots of cool stuff in there. But let's dive in. This is super quick and actionable but something I think we all have to be aware of, all right? We're talking about a mistake on the service toss, and the particular mistake is tossing the ball too high, all right? And what we're talking about here, a lot of you are getting the ball way, way up in order to get up to that ball, and that's, that's fine. If, you've, if you're loading, you've got this, this jump, this anti-rotic jump, and you're getting up to contact, that's okay, but it's also making it extremely difficult to time. All right, we saw this particular the mistake, this something that's been ongoing with Maria Sharapova serve. Her toss is so high, a lot of times she ends up waiting for it. Now, yes, granted, when she gets up to the ball and she gets full contact, the serve is fantastic, but it's also inconsistent where we see a lot of double faults. So how high should the toss be? All right, so if we know that we, can, we have the ability to toss too high, how, to, how high should the toss actually be? And what we're looking for in a toss is just high enough that your racket is meeting the ball at extension. So the length of your arm and your racket, that's really about as high as the ball needs to be. Now, if you're looking to get some air time, and let's be clear that when we jump, what we're giving ourselves is better trajectory. All right, a little bit of power, but you know, jumping is really only adding about five miles per hour this serve. And I'm not talking about loading. I'm not talking about the kinetic chain. Like we know that loading the back leg to the hip, that's the nuclear power source. That's where all the power comes from. But we're talking about just the actual lift off the ground. That is just giving you trajectory to hit a higher margin over the net and make targeting easier. All right. So if you have the ability to time that out, then just put it four, six inches above your arm stretched out because that's about as high as a lot of us are going to jump consistently. All right. Just because you jumped 12 inches at some point doesn't mean you're going to jump 12 inches every time you go to jump. This needs to be repeatable. And as we play a match, we get tired. Our legs get tired and we don't jump as high. All right. So if you're making this mistake of where you're tossing the ball too high and you're waiting for it, all right, we want to fix it to where we're tossing and we're able to hit with just the length of the arm. All right, guys, super quick, easy tip, but definitely actionable. Put it in your game. If you think you're making that mistake of tossing the ball too high, let's get out there and fix it to get a consistent serve. All right, if you enjoyed today's video, if you enjoyed the instruction, please hit like below, subscribe so you never miss any instruction from Play Your Court, and give the community a chance. Hit the, the link below, check out the community. We're gonna match you with players of your own ability within your town. All right, and then you're just gonna get a ton of instruction from Scott and I including tip of the day, a Q&A, and then you're going to join the Awesome Talk Tennis community. All right, so $5.99 a month. Check it out. It's awesome. We'll see you soon.